What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I was supposed to vlog today, but I didn't. And that's okay. We're going to vlog another day. Um, but I am still doing something interesting today. I'm going to get gro I'm going to go get groceries. And I thought I would show how I plan my groceries out. And then maybe do a grocery haul later when I actually get the groceries. I never really used to have to plan my groceries out or like my meals out but um since we moved to montana we eat our dinners as a family with everybody so we kind of have to plan out what we're going to be eating for dinner but then i also have to have stuff up here in my small little hut for um my own food that i eat for breakfast and lunch and then the dinner stuff so i actually stole this template or the setup from my sister um but I designed the template, uh, if that makes sense. So like my sister was already doing this just like on paper and pen. And she asked me if I could turn this into a template for her iPad because we both plan on our iPads. And I thought I would show you how it works. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open GoodNotes. And this is what the template looks like. Over here it says on the menu, let's eat. We have a breakfast category, a lunch category, and a dinner category, and then snacks and dessert. And then on this side, we have our actual shopping list, and it says week of. So for breakfast on this side, pretty much all I do is write the things I plan on eating throughout the week, or at least on having on hand. And then from there, I transfer to the shopping list side to actually write what I'm gonna be getting and then I don't take I personally don't take my iPad with me when I go grocery shopping so then I transfer it over to my notes and I have a to buy category and a groceries note and in there I transfer everything so so for breakfast things that I already have I have Weetabix cereal so that's an option let's see overnight oats. I, I tend to like cold sweet breakfast. I'm not really much of a like eggs kind of person. Although if it's made for me, I will eat it. I'm not picky. It's just like personally, if I'm making my breakfast, it's very low maintenance. Um, I also like toast. Oops. And yogurt bowls. Okay. So then from here, I'm going to think about the things that I might need in order to eat these things. So I know that I'm low on milk, so we'll add milk because you can't really have cereal or overnight oats without some sort of liquid. And then I know that I'm low on fruit, so I'm going to add apples. I just got bananas, so apples. And I still have some blueberries, so I think... I think we're good here. Oh, I need yogurt for a yogurt bowl. Then for lunch, things that I tend to eat for lunch, I know that Peyton needs like deli and cheese for sandwiches. And sorry, I'm not making this cute. I'm not using my best handwriting at the current moment. I like avocado toast, so we definitely need avocados for that. And then I do tend to like snack plates. So then from these options, I pretty much, I know I need bread for any type of sandwiches. We need deli and cheese. I believe there's still mm, condiments type stuff. For avo toast, I definitely need avocados <laughs> for that. And then for my snack plates, there's this new vegan cheese that I really like from Treeline. I need probably something fermented, so like olives or pickles, whatever I see. I usually like adding some sort of sweetness to my snack plate, which the apples will come in handy for that. And then possibly some crackers maybe will decide <laughs> there 
And then dinner, I will have to talk to the fam about. But as far as snacks go, I know that I like fruit as a snack. I think I'm pretty good on snacks, honestly, but I probably will find something fun and new. Ooh, you know what I do know that I need for my coffee? I need creamer. <laughs> for dessert, I have been wanting and craving ice cream. I still have tea and cookies. So that's good. And then I still have chocolate. I'm really good on dessert. I am keep that, you know, on the go, ready at all times. But possibly some ice cream. We will see again when we just get there. Um, I know that I said that I might make enchiladas this week. So that can be something. For the enchiladas, I know we need salsa, we need chicken, we need tortillas, um, spinach, oh, cheese. <laughs> but yeah, so this is kind of how I use it. My sister might use it a little bit differently, but it just helps you kind of think out the things that you're going to be eating and then what you are going to need so you don't forget anything. And it's good to have a list because otherwise I get very excited at the grocery store and I buy everything. Yeah, so the next time you see me, I will actually have food from the grocery store. Hi, it's grocery haul time. It's a mess here, okay? The AC is on because it's really hot. I'm connected to my lav. It's a mess, like I said. Our local grocery store, a healthy food shop is Natural Grocers, so that's where Payne and I went. Peyton is currently parking, so he'll probably run in here hot and heavy through the door in about five minutes. So let's see how far into this grocery haul I can get before he comes in. First, we got some seaweed for that TikTok, fancy TikTok, you know what I'm talking about, the salmon seaweed thing. We love it, so I got some seaweed for that. Um, I also got some bread because we desperately needed bread. We use bread for everything. This is for sandwiches, for toast. You know what bread's for. I also got some organic sprouted bagels. Um, we forgot the cream cheese though, sad day. But we have bagels. In this fun little bag are four Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp is our favorite type of apple, so we got four of them. We always get four because it's two for Peyton, two for me. We don't like getting too much. Sorry, I'm closing a candle. We don't like getting too much fruit because we don't want it to go bad. And we found that four is like the perfect amount. We got little baby tomatoes. Oh, they almost just fell everywhere. The little baby tomatoes for sandwiches. Um, in this bag, we have some avocados. Same as before when I was telling you. We got four because it's the perfect amount. Then they don't spoil too fast. I also pick them extremely green because then they have time to ripen and then they're perfect. I don't like trying to search for ones that are kind of ripe and then open them and be sad that they're not good anymore. So I get, I buy them completely unripe and then just wait. We got some organic walnuts. So the thing about natural grocers is everything there is organic. So I'm gonna keep saying organic, but that's because I'm reading it, but everything there is organic. So we got some walnuts. I got some cashews. Um, and I was gonna order them off Thrive, but actually at Natural Grocers, everything is even cheaper than what you can buy at Thrive, which kind of amazes me. We got one of my new discoveries, my favorite vegan cheese, um, except for this time I got it in the flavor Creamy Scallion. It's from Treeline, haven't tried this flavor, but the garlic and herb one was fantabulous. I also got, oh no, where are they? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Uh, herb crackers to go with the cheese. Uh, we should have got pepperoni, but oh well. Then I have a spicy Bubby's pickles because they're the best pickles in the entire world. Bubby's are, but the spicy ones are even better. We got three of these Frontera salsas, one for us to eat with chips. We didn't get more chips. We have half a bag of chips, but anyways, we got three of these because two of them are going to be used for enchiladas. I got garbanzo beans because you always can use garbanzo beans, you know? We got 
our favorite ice cream. I got the, we both got Cosmic Bliss, but he got the grass-fed dairy, and he got picked the twisted cookie dough, while I picked the plant-based chocolate, chocolate walnut brownie. Yum. Um, Peyton got some deli and cheese to take for work for sandwiches. Um, I just got a mini waffle maker, <laughs> so I got some waffle mix to make in the waffle maker. Uh, we were both out of milk, so Peyton got, us, got a small thing of organic milk, and I do not like any of the options at Natural Grocers, and the only place that does have options that I like for plant-based milk is a completely different store far away, so... I decided to try this. They had Lair's Aloha Oat, Ma Aloha Oat Mac plant-based powdered milk unsweetened. So it's oat and macadamia nut. Never tried it, but I thought I'd give this a shot because I do not like any of the options that they have at Natural Grocers. Last two things, yogurt. I love yogurt. I eat it in everything. So this is actually my favorite yogurt. It's pasteurized cows, um, organic whole milk Greek. It's the best. It's so tangy and just creamy and just thick. It's, it's amazing. But I also really like coconut cult. It's a coconut yogurt with a bunch of probiotics in it. Um, and this is the vanilla toffee flavor. Sorry, I kind of dove into that really fast because I was trying to say it before Peyton got in here. Um, but that's what we ended up getting. You kind of knew everything that I was getting. I think there might be a few things in here that were not on the list, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give it a like, comment, subscribe if you want me to make more of them like this. We're working on trying not to sound so frantic in our videos, but um, frantic is my middle name. So, anywho, I'll see you next time. Peace.